First started playing soccer when I was four. I was an extremely active kid, had a ton of energy, so my mom put me in a ton of sports. Yeah, and it just kind of stuck. I, like I said, I did a ton of different sports, but soccer always seemed to kind of stand out as my favorite for whatever reason. All the other sports kind of fell away and it kind of remained my favorite. Basically, from the time I tried out for something, I wasn't always the best player and I kind of worked my way up to the top and then I'd go to that next level and I wasn't the best, but f figure out a way to get to the top. And I guess that's been my story. Um, that's certainly kind of, I feel like the underdog a lot. Um, and that certainly definitely drives me and makes me want to figure out ways to get better, but also just figure out a way to win, way to, to get to the top, I guess. Yeah, so I started playing my professional career in 2009 when the WPS started in LA. The WPS opened my eyes to international players and international football and you saw that there was a difference between the two and international players kind of understood the game in the way Americans didn't. But that really intrigued me and then when the WPS folded, I decided to go over and play in Sweden for a couple years. Um, I had always heard good things about the Swedish league. And to be honest, I like to say I left a soccer player and I came back a football player because of what I learned tactically. The game there, the pace is slower and tactically you just, you have to make the wrong, right decisions. They'll punish you if you make the wrong ones. It really helped me understand the game more. And then all of a sudden I could understand what those foreign players knew about the game. And when I stepped back in in Seattle um, and came back to the U.S. after two years, it was really fun to not only play with a group of players that are here, but then to see how I had grown um, as a player and to see that now I understood and I could see what was going to happen before it happened and I kind of had that international experience and understanding of the game which was just so much fun for me. Hello everybody, Joe Fan here with another fresh face of Seattle Rain FC. I'm with defender Kendall Fletcher. Kendall, welcome to Seattle and thanks so much for joining me. Oh, thanks. I'm glad to be here. Well, uh, we drove all the way across the country. We hit some snow. It was beautiful driving in and then we hit Portland before we came up and it just started raining. And I was like, well, better get used to it. But it's actually been sun shining and I got to see Mount Rainier yesterday from where I live in Magnolia. So it was, that was beautiful. It's gorgeous here. I'm really excited to be here. It's hilly though. Up and down, my goodness, I didn't know that. Kendall, you got your first goal in a Rain FC uniform off a set piece in the second minute. It was the quickest goal in Rain FC history and then a beautiful uh, celebration. We'll get to that, but first let's start with the, the set piece. There's a short corner to, to Jess and she, she sent a ball into you. What did you see in that play? Uh, honestly, I just I knew it was going short. I knew Jess would send a, a good ball in, so I was just trying to get across my defender. Um, and luckily I got a toe on it. I got just a rounder and got it, got it on frame and it went in. Um, and then just really excited and I thought back, oh, I've got to do my flip now. <laughs> Barnes. Header, goal, Fletcher. Terrific service and why not a backflip or two? Yeah, I think playing with this team, um, I really enjoy playing in the back line and I think my competitiveness again really helps me in that because Laura does challenge us um, and she holds us to a high standard and the partnerships that I've formed with Lou and Rach and Ellie and you can be frustrating at times but it really makes you better and it really makes you want to invest in it and um, I find that really rewarding as a player I um, mean we take pride in that and there's there's a bit of competition of whether who plays and who doesn't play and I think week in and week out you have to earn your spot and that's made me a better player made, I think it's made all of us a better player and we respect each other because of that. So that's also, you know, obviously being within the team environment and the way we play is fun, but it's definitely a special unit back there. And being in a place like this, again, I just feel like it really, it really allows me to be myself and be able to bring the qualities that I know I have and, and they're valued here and that, and that really feels good. It's been a bit of an up and down season, obviously, but we're still in it with a chance and I think that's awesome, that's fantastic and, you know, we're going in preparing for that game and hopefully when the game starts we know we're in with a chance and we're in control of our destiny if we can get in. I think we're just focused on that and, and continuing to build. I, again, you just want to continue to get better and better and better and hopefully the byproduct is that you'll, you'll find success. It's obviously a different situation that we've been in before, but I think as a club, as a group moving forward, after this year, I think it'll just help us push on and be a better club. We've faced new challenges this year, 
that have exposed some things and shown us where we need to grow. And that's really all you can ask as a group, as a, as a player, you know, from coaching staff is just to grow and learn from what we've gone through. And, you know, kind of like my career, it doesn't always work out. It doesn't always, you have some setbacks. Um, so I think you got to take them in stride and make the most of them that you can. And hopefully on Sunday, we'll be able to, to make the most of it and get into the playoffs. But yeah, we're just going in focus and trying to do the best that we can.